Sounds like I'm typing on a keyboard, doesn't it? Oops. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What like, if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. Yeah. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. Yeah. In here, I can be happy forever. That's right. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Yeah. Now it's even closer. Yep. Here it comes. Oh. Wow, uh, what? Only a couple seconds passed. Oh, was that an ending? <laughs> wow, that was a, an astounding ending. Doing absolutely nothing in this game will get you to an end. Okay, so... Alright, let's... Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a door what? five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I hear a phone. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say yeah. that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Can I... Hold on. Can I answer this? Good morning. Thank you for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. We are confirming your shipment of 1,327 cardboard boxes to your place of work. What? Can you verify that this is correct? Um. Uh. Excellent. Your order will arrive shortly. Thank you again for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. Okay. Um. Cardboard box castles, anyone? Um. Now, what was that thing about achievements in 20 something times? Hmm, I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, almost 50? certainly 50 clicks. You're kidding me. It's for achievements, right? I mean, I don't really... No, no, I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I yeah. want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? Four. 417. Four okay, so 417. Where's 417? Ah! 417. Oh, great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. 437. Four, 437. Um, 428. 4, Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Now, door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. Kind of making me nervous, isn't it? Four, what is it? Four one five. He just said it too. Four, four, one six, four one five. Now back to door number four three seven. Four, four three seven, four three seven. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Four three seven, four three seven. Let's see. How about you click on? Well, I don't know. The copy machine. The Copy. All right, back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. 417? Four, four Is he just... I must really want this okay. achievement. Okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. What? <laughs> yes! This is great! You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep yeah. it up. Don't give me a few clicks on door 416. Four. 
416. That's 417, 416. Aha! We've almost got it! Now yeah. the copy machine, do that one again! Again? Oh, of course. I almost closed it all on myself. Sorry, guys. Copy machine. Finish it off, Stanley. Five clicks on door 430. Uh... Yes! We did it! Oh, wow. Wow. That felt amazing. Oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, I'm very <laughs> proud of how far we've come today. Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth five little clicks. Really, now? What were you thinking? Uh, I was thinking that if the achievement said uh, five clicks, that would get it in five clicks, but you uh, clearly uh, misled me there. But, I mean... Sure, that's fine. I you know, I didn't I didn't die or anything, so that's cool. All right. So let's uh let's explore. Oh. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, Wait. and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first just to admire um. it. Can you open these doors again? Now, I like I'm. I, I have. Am I carrying a keyboard around? Hear that? <laughs> Stanley got like a keyboard shirt or something. All right. You never know. You never know. There might be other. Additional achievements that I might find somewhere else. Four forty-nine. Man, ooh. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really yeah. been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Yeah. Stanley it's, simply um, stood here, drinking it all in. Typing on my keyboard. Yes, um, really, really worth it being here in the room. A I'm room thirsty. So utterly captivating. Dollar twenty-five. Even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Yeah, really worth it. Well, you don't know. You don't know, Mister In, Mister Narrator. At this point, Stanley's Calling obsession with now. this room bordered on creepy, and reflected poorly on his overall personality. It's possible that this is why everyone left. I jump. I Stanley sat I around waiting for more dialogue. An achievement. But when a long time had passed and there was no more, not jumping. he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. Okay. So should I just keep going, or do you want me to stay in here longer and explore? Like that's what you do, guy. In the in the ceiling, you explore. Fine. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. Yet, yeah. he's a little annoying, isn't he? What is this? Ooh. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. <laughs> what? I'm gonna email your boss. You hear that? That's an email being typed up. Reading something like, Mr. N is really bad at narration. Please assign someone else. Do not lie. If you are lying right now, stop. I'm not lying. I'm not. Really. Wow. Whoa. Hey, all those, those cardboard boxes I ordered? I hope they don't find out it was me that did that. Can I. I would require a card. Why? Do not jump from cargo lift. 
while it is in motion will cause death. Oh, yeah, that's probably right too, because it's if it's physics. <gasps> is that a, can I get out? That's a really that's a lot of boxes. Can I go anywhere else? I, I imagine not. Oh, just stand on it. Will it go down? Look, Stanley. I think oh. perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm Maybe. not your enemy, really. I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that there. the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Yeah. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. Oh, what if I get a... I'm asking for her. Her? Is a her? I thought this was this me. Is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Who's her? There's a her? I didn't know anything about a her. Man, I really wonder if those are my boxes. Where? Where is her? That looks like somebody has a really bad smoking habit. Uh, what are these from? Nothing. I really don't want to go in a dark room. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh! That's her, Stanley. What? You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Yeah. What? I don't know. I don't trust you now. As Stanley picked up the phone, a white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. Hope for a life reunited one... Wait. Oh, goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? Maybe. No, that no. wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You um. actually chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. Wait. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to um. white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? Oh. None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just what? see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not a Stanley. Sweat. You're a real person. Huh? <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made what? any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk um, on my watch. The first one? I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision-making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. What? Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. He Ironically. could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens <laughs> of impoverished third world nations. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his house. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, my goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. What? Practice. 
Um, it's 4.30, and I need to be somewhere. Excellent. Um, Making choices on a regular basis is the best <sighs> part to a healthy decision-making process. I didn't get to finish the practice Most test. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? Um, and finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant, and the feeling should subside. <laughs> At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Okay. Ah, welcome back. Whoa. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. 